Welcome back to the living room. Today is November 17th, readings from Solid Stepping Stones, Imperatives in the Epistles. Today is November 17th, Grace and Knowledge Day. Our imperative comes from 2 Peter 3.18. Peter says, And continually increase in grace and in knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him the glory both now and into the day of the age. These are Peter's last recorded words. His concern is that we grow and that Jesus gets all the glory for everything we do. The command increase is in the continuous tense. This means that we are commanded to be continually increasing in grace. That element of God's character that extends to people what they don't deserve. And we are to be continually increasing in knowledge of Christ. Those two characteristics can carry us a long way. The more mature we become as Christians, the less we believe that we have earned anything. The less we believe we deserve anything. And the more we extend grace to others because we are no longer asking them to deserve anything either. This goes right along with increasing in our knowledge of Jesus. The more we know about him, the more thankful we become for his grace and love towards us, and the more gracious we become. Peter understood grace. He failed Jesus as badly as Judas did but he was able to accept Jesus' forgiveness, whereas Judas could not. At the point where we understand that it is entirely by God's grace that anything good happens in our life, then Jesus gets all the glory. Today is Grace and Knowledge Day. What do you want to increase today? Your money? Your strength? Your popularity? Peter's last words to us were to increase in grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So what will your priority be? Let's pray. Lord, I want to know Jesus. I cannot know him without increasing in my understanding of grace. Help me grow today in grace and my knowledge of Jesus. If you agree with that prayer, say amen. And our readings today are Ezekiel chapters 40 and 41 and Hebrews chapter 1. God bless you all. See you tomorrow.